let's talk about this. Eight million people are killed a year. Eight million from pollution. Oh, really? Yeah. From polluters, pollution alone. Yeah. That's more than, and the World Health Organization says if, if, if we continue to have global warming over the next 10 years to like 2030, that's only five years away, between, there'll be 40 million people will be killed from more pollutants in the air due to, due to climate change and global warming. Really? So this, this is that even the 8 million deaths, there's more people killed by pollution than there is by, and of course, a major cause of asthma, than there is from all the wars combined, all the alcohol and drug use and abuse, and, you know, and, and all the terrorism, that all these things, that more people are killed from pollution than any of these things are. Right. And yes, so we have an increasing plastic exposure and increasing pollution in the air, the water, and the soil. It all forms this... Um, Triad, like there's it's the, multiple factors. Multiple factors of toxicity. Then we're eating unhealthy food, we're not taking it. So we really, getting back to nature is the answer, avoiding things in plastic, right? Mm -hmm. And the major source of plastic exposure is seafood. So that's another, that's recent in human history, never occurred before in human history. Now that the sea, now the waterways have, the cumulative effect of all the dumping of garbage in the oceans over the last 200 years has resulted in even the smaller fish now have plastic, have plastic in them and people have more plastic in their body. Right. You so, used to advise, you said a little bit of fish is beneficial. Now you totally cut that out. And more than that, you advise people, you really caution them against shellfish, right? Yes, I'm really concerned about, and I used to think about shellfish and bivalves being linked to toxins causing dementia and Parkinson's disease. But I used to think, you know, a little oyster or a little sardines or these smaller fish don't have the heavy metals of like barracuda and shark and tuna. Right. So we have a little bit of sardines, add the omega-3 to your diet, a little extra protein is good for you. But now I'm, I've completely revamped those ideas that I had decades ago because um, when you eat a sardine with a full digestive tract, the little fish, it's full of the digestive tract, full of plas plastic, microplastic particles. Mm -hmm. and it's just it's, everywhere. It's, right. So we're, we're looking towards um, potential higher morbidity and mortality in the population that doesn't go get back to nature and respect the integrity of the human body and protect our planet and eat healthfully and stay away from everything's you know we've been brainwashed to think doctors are the answer and taking drugs are the solution and we're just totally went off the rails in the wrong direction and that technology or advancements will save us but i think it's also important for anyone that kind of thinks it's what's the point there's everything's bad for you you know you hear yeah. that well everything's gonna kill you everything's bad for you right and i think just on a positive note it's you learn and do what you can you know we're still here we're still on the planet so we do what we can to make the best food choices we can to deal with the carts we're dealt and to try to get on a good track for the planet and for each other yeah ourselves. yeah that's really great you said that because yes the thing is that's why you can't just moderately eat some more vegetables when you switch to a nutritarian diet and you actually take in mushrooms and onions and berries and seeds you know you do when you do the whole thing and a lot of greens both raw and cooked then you build strength in the body's ability to resist toxins from the external world. There's both internally produced toxins and there's our external exposure toxins. And the only way we can deal with that degree of toxicity in today's climate, climate in today's world, is to eat a di is to eat a diet that's so nu nutrient dense to so our body's cells can protect ourselves. We're also trying to avoid smoke. We're also trying to not inhale toxic. Not you drink know, alcohol, not, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, shrink. That's right. Drinking alcohol, smoking yeah. cigarettes, taking drugs. Right. All these things are, but you know, um, but smoking cigarettes and take drinking alcohol is not as kill as many people as pollutions. So we're, but so we're doing that's everything, crazy. everything right to protect the body, to protect ourselves, because we have to do this in today's world. We have to be on top of this. That other people aren't that interested. They don't understand the concepts, and that our own personal integrity. When we eat to protect ourselves to reverse asthma, let's think about this for a minute. When you eat a diet with a, to fix your omega-3 index, to expose yourself to phytonutrients, to eat the right foods, and you decrease animal product production, to decrease animal product consumption, right? You're also protecting the planet because a, a vegan is saving more than 200 animals a year. You have to kill more than 200 animals a year to feed a non-vegan, right? And feeding plants to the animals to then going to feed them to, to the food is an inefficient source of calories. So it leads to global hunger and inability of the, of the world to support 
enough food production to feed a growing population on the world. So you're causing people to die of starvation and hunger. So when you are going to, when you, when you eat a diet of more fruits and vegetables, as your diet becomes more plant-based, you're saving, um, the, it's the major thing you can personally do to stop climate change, global warming, because planting trees and planting vegetables is the key back in things, you know, and, and not producing all the methane and taking down the forest to grow, um, the, taking down the rainforest to, to grow animal food feed and, and having animals. In other words, the point is, is that your diet is a huge contributor to both global warming, pollution and black soot. The black soot that comes off um, burning down the rainforest to produce palm oil and animal feeds, right? And then we can't feed the food to humans. We have to feed it to animals. So we're causing, we're destroying our climate. We're polluting the world. We're causing climate change. And we're also destroying our own personal health in the process. And if everybody got healthier, it would protect everybody else. We'll be protecting other people by making the world be safer and less polluted too. Right. So your diet also has the power to slow climate change, help the environment and your personal health, and maybe save your family from tragedy because everyone wants to have healthy, happy family members and deserves that. Loved ones and all that yeah. stuff.